you go, Peter. Ready, go. That's one. Thanks for the toys, Tyler. They love them. Ready, go. Get it, watch this. Big jump, big jump, big jump. Yeah. I'm actually blue.
were out the door. Leave your message here on the telephone. Cause we've no idea when we're coming home. Both have haircuts. <laughs> 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 G'day guys. So today, oh, here he is. So, <laughs> he's, he's ready to go. Sit up, buddy. Good boy. So today I want to talk about this guy. Gino, here, here. Come on, come on. Sit up, mate. Come on, show. Today I want to talk about this guy. His name is Jed. He's a six-year-old. Hello, Theo. He's a six-year-old border collie, and he is a very, very sweet dog. There's a lot of character and personality in Jed. But first and foremost, he's, he's really connected and really, really sweet natured dog. Um, one of the other big things that uh, you might not know about him is he's our official timekeeper on the farm. So he likes his routine, he likes his schedule. Uh, it's one of his favorite things about the farm that everything works like clockwork. And if we're a little bit behind time and we're, we're um, dragging the chain a little bit, He'll let us know by going to where the next activity is and barking at us and looking out the gate saying, come on guys, we should be going out here. Or it's Swiss ball time or it's bushwalk time. He, uh, he definitely keeps us on our toes as far as timings go. Don't you, mate? Yeah, good boy. Good boy, mate. Yeah. So Jed's been coming to the farm for over three years and he actually had hip dysplasia and as he started getting older, uh, he started to limp around a little bit which we we notice his legs getting a bit weaker so he's had a full hip replacement 
and he's been off for the last four months and he's just come back a few weeks ago and he's come back bigger and stronger than ever. Haven't you, mate? Yeah, good boy. So quite a major surgery for him and uh, he's, he's loving it now. He's back into the full swing of things, aren't you, buddy? So being a border collie, uh, Jed definitely, hey, stay here, mate. Definitely likes to, to herd. Uh, it's one of his, yeah, hold on, hold on, buddy. But it's a very passive herd. So to give you an example, he'll, he'll come and throw me a frisbee or something and drop it at my feet. And he won't wait to see what direction I'm gonna throw it. He just shoots off in the other direction, does a full lap around the whole thing and then turns and looks at me like, where is it? He's been running for the last 15 seconds in the, in the direction, just running around in circuit. So he does that around most of the activities, just full laps around and uh, likes, to, likes to be at full speed the whole time. Um, and you know you can you can get him excited and he'll just want to run and, and be right around the outside and do a full lap and it's it's what he loves to do isn't that mate he, he he herds us through like trying to gather us up and say come on guys let's go let's let's go to this next activity um, so he's definitely got the border collie instincts but like I said it's a it's a very uh, sweet way of herding rather than what what some of you might think when you hear the word herding so one of the other things he loves to do as well is swim and he and he likes to catch his own splashes with his with his front legs he knows how to swim properly and he can but he also likes to lift his feet out and splash and snap at each splashing water as he swims around and he'll do that by himself with no dogs in the water and just you know you'll open the gate to the pool and that's what he wants to do get in there start cutting laps and and catching his own splashes so he's got a lot of character jeddo so jed definitely is a dog that uh loves or gets excited about uh, any activity no matter how big or small it might be um, even just walking past a ball that he wants to play with, he'll get real excited about it and, and stalk it for me. And as soon as I go near it, he'll take off on these big runs, like I explained before. Um, and and he's always his glass is always half full. He's always got a really good attitude. He's real excited. He's just a happy dog. Um, and you know he's really expressive as well. Like he doesn't want to miss out on anything. Uh, the last time he stayed over, um, I, you know, it was about six o'clock in the evening. I thought, oh, you've had enough. I put him in the house and then I forgot to check the mailbox and walked down the driveway and I turn around and he's standing at the glass door howling like, you left me behind. <laughs> he doesn't want to miss out on a thing. So he, he, he wears his heart on his sleeve and he, he's always got a good attitude. So that's Jed.